Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In tonight's episode, let's return to the height of the Greek Empire under Alexander the Great. His empire was brief, but at the height of its power, it was dominant. And in 334 BC, Alexander, who was at this time a young man, won a great victory that marked the beginning of his dominance in the Mediterranean world. Let's go back to an epic clash between two ancient world rivals, the Greeks and the Persians, and the Battle of Granicus. At Granicus, Alexander and his Macedonian army saw this chance to stomp on the Persians as an act of vengeance for the Persian invasion of Greece back in the early 5th century BC. The two cultures had been jockeying for power in the Near East for hundreds of years, and now power would turn into the hands of the young king of Macedonia. Alexander's army met a combined Persian force of Persian soldiers and Greek mercenaries who wanted Alexander's kingdom destroyed. The battle was brutal and intense, and Alexander himself was nearly killed after he was surrounded before a group of elite soldiers came to his rescue. Finally, the Macedonian cavalry crashed through the Persian line and destroyed huge sections of the Persian army while it attempted to flee. The Persians lost 7,000 men in the battle compared to only 2,000 from the Macedonians. Many of the Greek traders who fought for the Persians were captured and placed into slavery in Macedonia. Now, for a man who was remembered as great, it should be noted that Alexander's rule was incredibly brief. He reigned over the Mediterranean world for little more than 10 years before his somewhat sudden death, without having named a successor, at the young age of 32. Some historians believed he died from a disease, while others believe he was poisoned. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.